What's up everybody? Safety is number one priority and for this experiment we're gonna need boiled potato. You know how hard it is to peel the potato. Today I'm gonna show you the Russian way, how to peel it the Russian way, very easy. Alright, we're gonna take out the hot potato, just boiled into the icy cold water. Let's see. We're gonna keep it for like 10 seconds. Cut it in half like that. Okay, after 10 seconds, you just pull it firmly on two sides right here. And it's still really hot and you got peeled potato. For this experiment, we want to have fire extinguisher close by, just in case, because we're going to be using fire. So we're going to need a milk bottle, a boiled egg, piece of paper, I got a piece of a tissue, and a lighter. First, we're going to Peel the egg. So we're gonna light the piece of paper, whatever you have, piece of napkin, and drop it, let it burn for a second, make sure it's burning, and drop it inside the bottle and put the egg inside like that. Let's see what will happen. Check this out. Isn't that cool? Just suck it in slowly. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, why did I do that? So retarded. <laughs> man, I almost, I almost choked on an egg. Remember, safety is number one priority. Don't do stupid stuff like that. Anyways, last time the paper was bad. It didn't really burn as good. So we want a paper that actually will burn inside of the bottle. So we got, we got the different piece of paper. Fold it a couple times. Let's turn it on fire. You see how fast it's burning. Ah, ah. Oh man. They got destroyed, man. We gotta make different egg. So you're gonna set on fire. Make sure it's a small piece of paper. So it's filled in the paper and put the egg on top. What the heck was that? Oh, that was cool. But what do you think about it, huh? We stuck the egg in there. Pretty cool, huh? Have you ever had like bottle of wine? This is bottle of vodka. Don't ask me why I have bottle of vodka. And you know this bottle have a cork. <coughs> and you know sometimes you get the cork all the way inside of the bottle. You see we got the cork inside of the bottle. So how can we take it out? Well, grab a piece of like, you know, napkin, like not paper napkin, but cloth napkin. I don't have a napkin. I don't have a cloth napkin, so I got a piece of t-shirt. Pretty much you roll it up like that. And stick it in, in a bottle. You can grab a knife and support yourself to push it through a little bit more. And you know, turn it over and start pulling the the napkin with the cork. You see that cork stuck with the napkin right there. So it's not the clear bottle, but that's all I do. And you see how the cork stuck with the napkin and you just pull it and you took it out. Man, hit my camera. What's up everybody? Safety is number one priority. For this experiment we're gonna need glass bottle with water and like three matches. And the scissors. Let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab like three matches and cut the heads off of it. Pretty much like that. And then we're gonna put them inside of the water like this. And now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squeeze my thumb in there and see what happens. Just like block all the water to not let it come out the water and just squeeze it as hard as you can. See what happens. Boom! Do you see that? One match went down. And if you let go, they come back up. Let's try this again. You see? Went down. It goes back up. Boom, two of them went down. 
Pelikul, ha? It's a little bit closer. You see those are matches. I'm gonna stick my finger and not let air out or in. And you see they start diving. If I let it go, start in. So apply pressure, they sink in. Let go, they comes back up. For this experiment, we're gonna need plasma ball. So we're gonna turn off the lights and do some experiments with the lamps. Let's do this. So let's do this experiment. I'm gonna bring up regular lamp. Nothing happens. You see? It's not lighting up. And let's bring this lamp close by. You see it's turning on. Is that really cool? Let's see if it go to the hand. Not really. But yeah, is that pretty awesome? And for this experiment, we're gonna need two beer glasses and a shot glass and a dollar. A chicago, what are we gonna do? Alright, here's the charge. You ask your friend to build a bridge so the shot glass will stand, you know what I mean? So they're gonna try to fold it or whatever, you know, and they're gonna fail. Once they give up, if they give up and don't know how to do it, you can show them how to do it. All you gotta do is fold the dollar many, many, many times, you know what I mean? Like couple millimeters on each side, you see? See how little it is? And then turn around and fold it as much as we just fold the first time. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you close up in a second. You see the second fold as big as the first fold. So we gotta keep folding like that. So now we're gonna turn it out again and as much as we folded last time because the more creases we have, the stronger paper will be. Right, as you can see we got this paper like that intervene. So that's pretty stoned right here. So we're gonna bring the glasses back and put this dollar on top like that and put the shot glass on top. It's gonna just stay there. See what I'm saying? Pretty cool, huh? For this experiment we're gonna need empty glass bottle, plastic ring from the plastic bottle, as you can see I cut out like inch and a half or so and the cell battery or some kind of weight, you know like not too big, not too small, like that one so let's see what I'm gonna do alright, we're gonna set the bottle like that and then set the plastic thing plastic circle on top like that and then put the battery on top of the plastic thing like right on top of it so this is how it looks like, you see, there's a circle, plastic circle on the bottle and the battery on top of the plastic circle. So you challenge somebody that you have to take the circle out with one hand, with one move, so the battery will fall in inside. You can only touch the plastic circle, you cannot touch the battery. So most people will try to hit it this way and they will fail. This is simple, you have to put your finger inside and hit it like that on the side, you know? So let's check it out. That's just simple like this, look. Inside and boom! And the battery fell in. And as you can see the battery fell in in here. Pretty cool, huh? Let's try this again. So one more time, instead of pulling it outside, you have to stick your finger inside and pull it this way. As you can see, we got the butter inside of the bottle. For this experiment, this experiment we're gonna need a cup of water, some kind of bowl to throw up the water because we're gonna make a hole with a knife. We're gonna need a very small hole. And then you're gonna need a plastic tube like PVC pipe. I got the pump over here or you can use a plastic pen or whatever and towel or the fur will work better. And this experiment will be about static electricity. So let's get to it. So we're gonna make a small hole with the knife. All right, we're gonna get that static electricity on our pipe, plastic pipe. Then lift it up and see what happens. You see how it bends? You see how it bends a lot?
very crazy, huh? I'm not even touching it. The closer you get, the more it burns. Start on the other side. Same thing, you see? Pretty crazy, huh? We're gonna need three glasses of water. I have one regular water, a second one with a lot of salt. We're gonna need salt. And a third glass, just half full glass of water. And you want some extra water in a bottle. And then we're gonna need three eggs and a spoon. Let's check out what we're gonna do. This is gonna be water density experiment. So we got regular water right here, just stop water. We're gonna drop an egg and we'll see what happens. You see, it's sunk. Like, you know, any normal egg would do, it probably will sink in the water. But this is like really salty water. I put a lot of salt. Uh, and then, let's see, we're gonna drop an egg carefully. And it floats in a salty water because of density, right? And we got the third glass of water right here. We're gonna put a lot of salt in there. You see how much salt I put? Mix it up. Make sure you mix it good. Let's put some more salt in there. We're gonna put this egg in there and let's see if it floats. As you can see that egg is floating, right? Alright, and now we're gonna put regular water on top of the egg. Like carefully, you know what I mean? See what happens. The egg actually stays in the middle. Why is that? Isn't that funny? Alright, check it out. The non-salty water, the egg sinks. Salty water, the egg floats. And why is this egg floating in the middle? For this experiment, we're gonna need a cork, a glass with water, and extra water with some in a bottle or something. So here's the take. We're gonna drop the cork next to the rim. So you challenge somebody to move the cork to the middle of the glass in the water without touching the cork. Seems impossible, right? But all you gotta do is fill up your glass all the way. Like almost overfill. Look. And you see? The glass will by itself move in the middle. and it's not touching the rim of the glass. Pretty cool take, huh? That's it. That's pretty much it. Let me know what do you think in comments below. And you know, sometimes you're chilling with friends and it's get boring, so you can pull up some takes and this will be kind of exciting. So let me know if you're gonna use it or not. And as always, check out my next experiments.